hi welcome back in this lecture we are going to do this uh, main x part here and we are going to start with the cube here so you can see uh, the flatness here and then it's tapering towards this sharp edge uh, from the bo from both side and you can see there is kind of a damage here and i'm thinking to uh, not to do this at this base model so we are going to do this inside GBrush. So we are going to do it plain here. And we are not going to do this scratch, there is no details. We are going to do that inside GBrush as well. So uh, let's do this base mesh here. So I am going to start with a cube. And I am going to do this first, then we are going to extrude it. So let's position this cube here. And you can see the thickness of the cube. I think this is a little bit too much so let me let me scale it so kind of I'm looking from top to get this uh, width okay so then we can uh, scale it or adjust it so let me rotate the cube and let me you know, select this face and extrude it so I'm going to select it and extrude we can rotate to align that angle of the edge here and then you can press G key to repeat the extrude action so basically G is the repeat tool whatever tool you have used recently uh, previously it's going to repeat that again so I'm going to uh, adjust this here quickly real quick I'm using the front view now and I'm trying to get this arc here real quick let's try to get that so I may need one more edge here at the center so now I can add an edge loop by using the insert edge loop tool so let's go to mesh tools menu and insert edge loop tool bring that tool and add one edge loop here you can see when I add that edge loop um, it's it's just adding that edge loop now you need to manually adjust the curvature here let me undo it by pressing ctrl G and let me go to that mesh insert edge loop tool and let me show you an option there so you can see there is an option called insert with edge flow and that is turned off by default here so let's turn that on and now if I add an edge loop with that option turned on it's going to adjust the flow you can see now it's automatically adjust that flow to get a very smooth curve sometimes it's very useful so let me cl you know, close that and I think this is pretty good try to try to evenly space these vertices and then let me extrude this part here so let me extrude I think I think we just need to extrude this three face uh, we don't need this one because it's getting narrower here so let's extrude it so again you can use edit mesh and extrude from here or from the self or you can hold the shift key and right mouse button to get this marking menu and you'll find the extrude face option from here as well and I think this is the very uh, fastest way so then let's move and adjust it so then let's move these things and let's move this to roughly mask this thing okay I think this is good if you want to straighten this you can select all these vertices go to the scale tool and when I go to scale tool you can see the scale tool is very uh, no, oddly aligned there with an odd angle so it's because of some settings so let's double click on the scale tool to get the tool settings if you double click on any of this tool it's going to open the tool settings where you can set some options so now you can see the axis orientation is set to object I want this wall axis so let's select that and when you set to wall it's going to always align to this wall axis angle so now uh, to straighten all these vertices you can use this x-axis and scale it 
and uh, scale to this center you can see now all those vertices are straightened okay so this is this flat area then we are going to extrude to get this uh, the taper effect here so i'm going to you know select all these faces by holding shift key and left click so let's select all these faces still here i don't want this area so just select all these faces till here and then i'm going to extrude and i'm going to extrude with this z axis so when i pull this z axis it's going to pull all these faces in their local direction in their normal direction if i go to this world axis and then move with any of this axis it's going to you know push all the faces in a single direction which i don't want in this case so let's use the local axis here uh, then pull this g axis and this is very important because g is the normal direction of every face so just to move that and then obviously we need to adjust manually because it's never going to give you the perfect result you need to adjust it like this roughly match it maybe i need to push those a little away from each other then then we are going to the face mode again and you can see it has remembered that previous selection so just go to the face mode uh, sorry the scale tool and then scale from this axis from this g axis to make it narrow and sharp i can merge these vertices and make it a single edge here but i think uh, we need to have this two edge here when we are going to smooth it by pressing the three key uh, it's going to be very sharp like this but now you can see when i press three it's losing the uh, the shape here you can see we don't have a corner here now uh, we don't have a corner here like it's losing the definition of the shape for that we are going to add some more edges and uh, tweak this model a little bit so again this side is not aligned so let's select all these vertices go to scale tool and scale it so this is a very good way to align uh, no roughly placed vertices okay so then i'm going to add one edge loop here basically add few edge loops so let's add a one edge loop here and sometimes you can see it's not working as you wish Sometimes you need to manually adjust to get the proper shape you want. I think this is good. And then I want one edge loop here, I think. So I can straighten this maybe. So let's straight a little bit straighten this. I think this is fine. And then I might I might need one edge loops here. So let's do that one here and you can see it's quickly adjust that let's put to one here maybe somewhere here and let's quickly adjust that it should be properly smooth it doesn't have to be as the final model because it's a base mesh we just need a very basic uh, safe and then we are going to finalize that inside GBRS. I think this is good. So let's adjust these things a little bit. Let me adjust this. It's try to uh, sp spread all these vertices evenly. And now you can see when I press three, it's it's a little better holding the shape, but still we are going to put few edges here to sharpen these things. You can see these edges are very sharp, and if I hide it by pressing Control H to hide, you can see these edges are very sharp, and this area is very defined, and this edge is sharp. 
so we are going to add few supporting edge loops to create you no know, uh, make these edges sharp when you smooth so let's go to mesh tools insert as loop tool and here i'm going to add one edge loop here like this and you can see i don't want that insert with edge flow option turned on now so let's go and turn that off for now so let's add one edge loop here so now that edge loop is going this way so that means this is uh, this whole edge is going to be a little bit uh, sharper when you smooth and then i'm going to add here as well so when i add an edge loop here you can see it's going this way which i don't want so let me add one edge loop here as well so again i'm adding two edge loops to the main corner to hold that edge to hold that corner and this edge loop is coming here which is usable which is okay and i need to think about this area so and this corner is smooth so i don't want to add anything i want one edge loop here and basically to sharpen this edge as well we can put one which is going all the way which is a good thing that's good and we want to sharpen this edge as well so let's put one edge loop here like this one edge loop here again it's going this way which is good to not to hold this corner that's a good thing so i think um, let's press 3 the object mode and see you can see this is okay we are getting these sharp edges if i put a blend material you can see that let's go to uh, let's hold the right mouse go to favorite material and when you choose blend you can see we have a little bit sign material okay uh, you can see this is sharp that's good that's what we want here and uh, but you can see there's an unwanted no sharp edge which is this one i think we don't want that that's very smooth there so that's because of this edge here you can see these two edges going very close to each other so i can do one thing i need to merge these two here so let's select these two and go to edit mesh and merge to center so i merge the two uh, vertex to one into one so let's do that same thing this side press g to repeat and now you can see i can go and delete just double click on any of this edge to select it so let's select it and let's go to edit mesh and delete edge if you delete from keyboard it it will look like okay but it's not okay because when you go to vertex mode you can see it has just deleted that edge and you can the you can see the vertex are still there and those vertex are not connected with edges here so that's very wrong thing so don't do this always delete the edges from here by using this delete edge and vertex so it's going to delete the edge and the vertex so now by doing this we have a triangle here and that's fine because uh, we are doing a base mesh here and that's fine that's not a problem so now press 3 and uh, now this this area is smooth and this uh, here we have a curve and here it's corner and everything is looking okay except here there's a kind of uh, unevenness it should be flat i forget to do that somehow so we can select all these areas and scale it to make it flat so let's select all these faces you can select these faces and hold shift and press the period key or the greater than symbol hold shift and then press that to increase the faces so now let me select these faces manually somehow i uh, i didn't notice that thing okay so let's select all these faces which should be in that flat angle should be in that flat angle and go to scale tool and scale in g-axis it should make that flat and you might need to delete the edge loops and put that again but i think this is fine now you can see i need to delete it 
so you can delete it by holding the control and delete key as well so it's going to delete the vertex so this is the shortcut of this uh, delete as an vertex you can say control delete so let's do that same thing this side to select faces you can also hold tab key and uh, just ho hold and drag the left mouse it's like painting it's painting the faces which is actually selecting the face select all these faces and let's make it you know flatten this is good and now let's bring the insert edge loop tool and put that back put that edge loops back I can see it's good in the next lecture, we are going to do this back behind part.